previously, I created a video exploring the relationship between science and God, focusing on how science complements rather than disproves the existence of God. In this video, we'll watch physicist Sarah Walker engage in a conversation with Lex Friedman about the progress made in understanding the origin of life. The origin of life is like this boundary um, that the universe can only cross if a structure that emerges can reinforce its own existence, which is self-reproduction, autocatalysis, things people traditionally talk about. But it has to be able to maintain its own existence against this sort of randomness that happens in chemistry and this randomness that happens in the quantum world. And like, it's in some sense, the emergence of like a deterministic structure that says, you know, I'm going to exist and I'm going to keep going. Um, but, uh, you know, pinning that down is really hard. We have ways of thinking about it in assembly theory that I think are pretty rigorous. And one of the things I'm really excited about is trying to actually quantify uh, in an assembly theoretic way when the original life happens. But the basic process I have in mind is like a system that has no causal contingency, no constraints of objects basically constraining the existence of other objects or forming or, or allowing the existence of other objects. Um, Did you catch that? Notice she said... System that has no causal contingency. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Science teaches us that physical phenomena is always causally contingent a concept also explored in philosophy through the principle of causality. This principle states that every effect has a cause, every contingent being has a cause, and anything that is reduced from its potential to act is reduced by something already in motion. This principle has sparked numerous debates throughout the history of philosophy, particularly due to its implications for theism. However, the most compelling arguments that emerge from these discussions often lead to a cause and effect relationship. Ultimately, what we're seeing here is a commitment to methodological naturalism, a philosophical doctrine that asserts that any study of the world must qualify as scientific and cannot attribute it to God's creative activity. However, this stance contradicts the principle of inference to the best explanation a fundamental rule in the philosophy of science, also known as abductive reasoning. Life is complex. Even a single cell contains numerous intricate systems necessary for its survival and functionality. We see intelligent beings create complex things every day, such as computers and vehicles. If we apply our understanding of reality as discussed earlier, including the causal principle, the relationship between physical entities and contingency, and the observation of intelligent beings creating complex things, we can deduce that the answer must satisfy all three criteria. This implies that the explanation cannot be physical and must be intelligent. It appears that a plausible explanation for these characteristics is a metaphysical intelligent being that is not contingent upon anything else. This concept is what we refer to as God. 